Yas Queen. Uh, Boca yes. has actually entered her villain arc already long before the stream has ended. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Am I in a hurry to end? I do have to end in like an hour. Why? What do you want? What do you want? Oh, I stab you. say that they were to meet us here when we had delivered the goods. Surely they are soon here to witness our courageous victory and attain what was asked by Holy Terra. And then all will be reassured that the Ultramarines are the flight jewel of all Space Marine chapters in the galaxy. I got out. So honorable custodian, I did not expect you to be the one to pick up this cargo. Indeed, I thought the Adeptus custodians never left the Imperial Palace. Well, this is a very special occasion. We need to proceed with speed, so if you wouldn't mind... Of course, honorable custodian. As the Codex Astarte spake within its sacred pages, the Ultramarines always deliver. Everything's horrible. It was a true challenge for us Ultramarines to stuff him into that box. By having it encased in vigorously blessed ceramite and having these blanks strapped to it, we succeeded. But I would presume you all did not expect anything less from the greatest Astartes chapter of them all. I don't even know what's in this box, but its presence feels shifty. But we're just here to pick it up anyway, so you mineral pigments can just go away now. Thank you, honorable custodies. If Terra ever requires our aid again, you know where to find us. May the spiritual leech be with you. Courage and honor. Wow, those guys are total assholes. <laughs> they are like the complete opposite of fabulous. Such disgrace. Yeah, tell me about it, stupid pricks. I remember the time I cared about anything. Oh no, I forgot. Anyway, let's get <laughs> he forgot. Post haste. <laughs> Our glorious overlord awaits our return feverishly. And if any one of us wants a rightful spot as caretaker, we have to hurry. Yeah, let's get to it. Wow, my emperor. I never expected you to come up with such emotion and kindness. Do you hope I like my like burpees? I don't know. Truly, oh, you they might be here. Be I don't know. I'll check after a stream. Of course. Too bad it's fucking grating showing compassion and love when every single second sitting on this is like having a cactus fervently stuck up your ass. Oh, yes, that's understandable, my lord. Oh, the wallpaper. No, that's no. good. We are here to give you what you sent for. I haven't gotten the other thing you sent me, though. Repulsive reverse vagina as their insignia. Indeed, my lord. And show us the fact that I'm blessed with a loyal people that you want a new caretaker. Take it into your home. Hey, you realize me a fucking Captain General, right? Whatever you say, Kitty. Now, bring in the cargo. Here it is, ready to be opened up like a tomb of lotion on Emperor's Day. It is full of sparkles and gold in here. Good, now get the fuck out. Oh, 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 my glorious overlord. Are you sure you don't want us to stand guard as the box is open? I mean, something dangerous could be in it. I've already told you that I'm more than capable of looking after myself. 
Your awkward and trippy presence is not required. Now get the fuck out and for the last fucking time get some damn armor on before you poke someone's eyes out. Hello, oh, my boy. We'll leave you be. We won't do that last thing though because none of us ever heard what that was. I said put some damn armor on. that laser, my glorious overlord. Ta da! Sigh. One of Sigh. these days, <laughs> I'll get someone to throw a look match at one of those guys. Let's see how much they appreciate their naked oiled up bodies then. Hey, Golden Man. The thing in this box is very angry and very scary. Son, do you know what's in the box? I have a hunch, but I refuse to believe it because it'll be too ridiculous. Of course, I know you cussed hard. Now open the box and then back off quickly. succeeded in bringing Magnus here after all. That is absolutely fucking hilarious. Father. Father. The Corpse Emperor! My father! Yes, yes, stop yelling so fucking loudly, you demonic good for nothing book banger. Why is there a timer? I don't know. Dare you. I am at the peak of all psychic might. Lord Zeech has blessed me with powers unimagined by mere mortals. Not even you will be able to stand against my wrath. Shut the fuck up with your empty bravados, Magnus. I don't know how the fuck the Ultramarines actually managed to get you all the way from the Eye of Terror, but clearly your supposed psychic prowess only works when you fuck something up. Stop mocking me! You never did anything but look down upon me for having my powers. Powers that you, yourself, also had. You never defended me when Russ and the others tormented me for it. But now, my powers have been recognized by my new lord, and he has boosted them tenfold. But I am full control, I shall have my vengeance and kill you. You have never been in control of anything since you gave yourself up, Tazinch. The moment you met him, you lost him. You don't even know it, but he's been feeding you dirt ever since he made his first move on you. I'm sure he didn't have any difficulty convincing you to join him though considering the way you seem to think about things. He made you dance in the pale moonlight, like a puppet, didn't he? That boy ain't any good for you, son. I have been the master of my own destiny ever since the day Lord Zeech first contacted me! Not being allowed to ever make use of the warp. That Nokia Council thing was so shitty. I'll show them I don't need to stick to the rules based on caveman superstition. I'll just continue my experiments. Hmm. It is fairly boring around here today, actually. Maybe Father's right after all. Perhaps I should just stop. Hello! Ugh! Oh my eye! It's just to look at it. What are you supposed to be? Eh, no one too important. I might not have any form of significance whatsoever in everyone's life. That, or I may actually be the most important being in the galaxy. None of what you said made any sense or helped me in any way figure out what the fuck you are supposed to be. Seriously, what's with all those tentacles? Hmm, but tentacles! Not who I am. Or maybe it does matter. Chances are that I have some information that may or may not interest you about the future. The future! What is it? Something absolutely horrible about your beloved brother, Horus. Horus? What is it you know? Tell me. Nope. But I will make you an offer that you can't refuse. Not sure I can really trust that. I mean... Can't you tell how trustworthy I am by my looks? You are not trustworthy. You have tentacles. Nope, not at all. That immediately Besides, makes you untrustworthy. Would... Ooh, Daddy's boy is too good for me and my offers. Stop it. <laughs> He's going to refuse my offer. He can't refuse. Silence. <laughs> Maybe it's because he enjoys being the bottom bitch. And because he doesn't have the balls to take his rightful place at the top. No, I don't have to take their shit or your shit. 
Fuck it. Pin pineapple Fuck you. pin. Oh, I'm in. Right on cue, genius. Now come okay. closer and I'll tell you everything. Yes, yes. Uh huh. Listen, Alan. Mm hmm. Lots of cancer. Uh, wait, Horace is going to do what? All I heard was lots of cancer. What is that supposed to mean? You'll never be able to destroy me as much as you already have. If it were not for your immature use of your powers, I would not be sitting here on this throne all skeptical and shit. Uh, no, it's I not said my Apple. fault Shut that up. me and my psychic powers managed to ruin your feeble project when I tried to save you! Lord Zinx just... Um... I tried my best to save Horus from his folly, but I failed. But I still have a chance. Nothing will be lost if I can warn Father. There's still time to warn him. I could save everyone. If there wasn't a fucking wall in the way! Wall in the way? You again? Get out of here. I don't need any more of your help. Looks to me like you do, Sonny. You can't help me. I said apple! I said pin pineapple apple pin! And I am not going to break it down. Father put it here for a reason, and I won't transgress any further. Not going to, or not able. Don't start this not shit again, able. Octopus Face. I won't fall for it. I was told to take this Even off, I, I think this... if I destroy this wall, it might have terrible, terrible consequences. Although, I, mean, I, I do know a lot of people liked it. Has. Ooh, but a lot of people also didn't like it. Reasonable. He doesn't want to mess with what he doesn't understand because he enjoys living in ignorance. Not wanting to break his real little psyche. Seriously? It's upside down! I want to do that. Again. Oh, you come along here to warn your father, but as soon as a small obstacle comes in your way, you give up immediately. Shut up! Give up immediately! I already tried getting through it without breaking it. I'm not strong enough. It's built up by a psychic might that surpasses my own. <laughs> He's not strong enough because he's a freaking pussy that shits himself upon seeing the absolutely terrifying inanimate objects. Maybe we should get someone ballsy enough like Lehman Russ to do it instead. No, I am better than that ignorant savage. Also, I don't have time for this shit. Time is of the essence and I have to get through. Smart choice. Let me give you a power boost. I did it! I am the mightiest psyker in the galaxy! I am the strongest! Suck it, Lehman, you furry fuck! That certainly happened. Oh well, off to see Father. Father, something terrible is going to... had set up, ruined my masterful webway project, and led a button of demons into the Imperial Palace, I would be healthy, happy, and able to scratch my fucking nose right now. In addition, I like that he just wants really to scratch his nose. That's like very relatable. Whole time he's stuck here, and he's mad at everyone, he just wants to scratch his nose. Well, maybe if you had told us of the powers of chaos before we were enlightened by it, maybe we wouldn't have turned against you like this. This is still all your fault, you damnable lich! The risk in informing you about the powers of chaos was too great. Especially to someone like you, who always took such massive fucking interest in the cult shit like that. That's because before the cursed day when you found me on Prospero, I was living my life with scholars who accepted the use of the war. They were kind and open to knowledge, something you have never been. That's probably just another reason why you had Lehman Russ's pack come to Prospero to burn it! I never told the man Rust to burn Prospero, you fucking crybaby. Yes, you did! Why else would he do it? I had the man Rust sent there to arrest you and bring you to me, so I could spank the shit out of you and then give you a chance to redeem yourself. No! You lie! You're lying! The reason why Lee Man Russ attacked you was because fucking Horos told him that I had changed my mind and wanted you dead. Fucking Horus, the one you joined during the heresy, was the one who orchestrated all this. So what was that about controlling your own fate, huh? Didn't you laugh about what everything was Magnus's fault not too long ago? Shut your fucking face, you cheese doodle. No. It, it 
can't be true. You... You must be lying. You were, and are, very important to me, and my future plans, Magnus. It just wasn't your time yet, back then. Also, I may not ever have shown you the proper fatherly love you desire, but I love you nonetheless. And now, I have Did he say it was all Magnus's fault? I feel like he said love. that. Didn't he say that? Chance. I think he said that. Father. Father. That was loud. Where were we again? The one who did nothing wrong? They have red hair, so all all further objections to their existence do not are not allowed. Gingers are good. Please, Captain Master! The second company has successfully carried out the order sent from Holy Terror. Minimal casualties were taken, and a devastating blow to the filthy traitors has been accomplished. You once more managed to succeed on an impossible mission where you should have died! You went straight through the literal landscape, containing legions upon legions of hellish abominations that some of the most elite chaos mercenaries the enemy has to offer, that even the greatest of warriors would perish to it. But no! You succeeded because you were trained by the book, the holy codex of our Oh, so wonderful I could shut my power bats spiritually! Did he have to add the... Did he, did he have to add the shitting part? I don't know. Yes indeed, my lord! We did! Oh. <sighs> Yeah, whatever. You will be given your usual celebratory purity sheets and only my to run into your armor. Just please leave. With courage and honor, sir. With courage and honor, sir. Are they good? <laughs> Are they This is shameful. I think it's not as fight anymore. I should have that one. Um, my lord. Are you They come in. Judging by your book, you must have learned about our latest success. Honestly, I have seen you in better days. Honestly, Ariel. I must let down into death corpse guardsmen in a paradise world. But I presume it's not bad. After all, my day is not completely ruined as of yet. I am here to see. Sicarius! Master, I, Captain Sicarius, would like to speak to you! Oh, son of a bitch. Oh boy, here we go again. Did you hear the news? I, Captain Sicarius, of the glorious and famed Second Company, have single-handedly captured the treasure Primarch by myself. <sighs> Not bad, I guess. Absolutely impossible, but not bad. Not bad? Excuse me, but you must mean that it is one of the greatest deeds the chapter has ever accomplished. And it was thanks to I, Captain Sicarius, because that is what it is. Oh. And I, <laughs> Captain Sicarius, was thinking that it was the most righteous time to remind you that I, Captain Sicarius, should be like saying his name a lot. Excuse me, was that book dragon? Like a mechanicus adept, will a stroke or did you just wish for my death? No, you are mistaken, my lord. I, Cato Sicarius, was just envisioning what the future could be like under the guidance of my beloved self. Say, Sicarius, you did capture the traitor Primarch Magnus. But did you at all take into account all the risk you put your company through by accepting? Alone, no less, with no backup whatsoever. Even going so far as to accepting that absurd order about going through the Eye of Terror without your gun up, The death of others is but a small price to pay as they fall for forming their duties in order. 
to achieve glory over the entrance of the first Alduri captain, which of course is I, Kato Sicarius. Kato Sicarius! <laughs> Maybe I should do it for real once. I only slap him lightly on the hand when he does awful things. Then I will at least stop fighting him sitting on my throne when I come home from conquests. Because, you know, his ass would be in ruins. <sighs> anyway, I am here because I am troubled. I cannot help your problem as ill! Everything is shit! Because that is fine as well. Well, you see, Augustus, I think I've started noticing a certain theme in our chapter. The theme, you say? Corporal, so I wouldn't even be able to touch it anymore, Magnus. I still don't trust you. Well, whoop day fucking do, Magnus. Shall I reclaim your soul from Zinch to prove that I'm not playing you for a fucking trick? Or maybe you'd rather want a new book about some Boonga Woonga Warp Space Horse shit? Reclaim my soul from Zinch? That's impossible! Just fucking watch me. Greetings, abominable demon of the war. You wouldn't mind if I reclaimed the soul of my son Magnus the Red from your disgusting and ribbon hands, would you? Oh my, isn't it the Adenema coming for a visit? Too bad I didn't prepare some snacks. Or maybe I did, but I can't chance I ate them myself. But alas, how do we know snacks even exist in the first place? Or if they're even any good? Perhaps they are all just figments of imagination. Oh, also, what are you doing here? <sighs> You're as much of an overthinker as ever. Oh, ho, 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 ho! Is your human mind too simple to comprehend some simple pondering? But that does make one wonder. What can we really comprehend? Does comprehension even exist, hmm? We, sitting here in a dimension of thoughts produced by a countless number <laughs> of He literally of keeps pondering time, everything. Expressing our feelings through simple stands. Understanding but not understanding each other's motives. Is that all we can truly comprehend about this universe? This is this really happening? Hmm, no, yes, maybe. One thing I am sure of, the only thing I can believe in without a shadow of a doubt, is... That you smell like poop! I don't have time for your horrid games, Warp Spawn. Give me the soul. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? Yeah, maybe. Yes? No? No. No! Absolutely, positively, impossibly, no. <laughs> All right, you atrocious fiend. I'll be going now. Wait, what are you? Sing around. I just reclaimed your soul from that fucked siege. And holy mother of myself was it straining. It was like a constant concentrated fuck shit cramp in my brain. What did you do? I used my OP please nerf powers as the anchor in the golden throne to gather as many fragments of my drifting soul and psyche as possible to manifest myself within the warp so I could hit siege in the face and take your soul back. My soul is back? No, that's impossible. Absolutely it's impossible. impossible. Luckily, I am a motherfucking emperor, so I I'm the motherfucking shit. emperor. Unfortunately, I felt my soul exploding up at least a hundred times more after pulling that stunt. You better be fucking grateful, you featherhead. The frick? That was a horrible way, emperor. Are you sure you're all right? You know that awful pain you feel when you stuck your dough in a wall. It's like that, but amplified about five hundred times and all over everything. 
know my pain. Uh, no, this is not true. I still have the power seats granted me. That shifty asshole can't get to you or your powers while you are in here. It's too bright, golden, and orderly for his taste. So, yes, do you trust me yet? That, uh, I mean... This yeah. all seems incredibly convenient. Incredibly well, convenient. To be completely honest, I expected you to put up more of a fight and attempt to summon like a million demons into this place. However, it seems I was capable of convincing you without a shred of solid evidence that your downfall wasn't my fault and make you cry in the process. But hey, what is that supposed to mean? That I'm a very charming fellow. Starting to recognize that smarminess of yours. I guess you are being honest after all, but... But father, why would you ever even do this? How do you know I will not attempt to escape? How do you know I will not turn back to Zeke, gather my warriors, and annihilate you? I've been with them for millennia, and now you think you can just come and take me back? I'm certain you wouldn't want to go back to praising a filthy demon that betrayed you, leashed your soul to his will, and turned your loyal warriors into nothing but dust. What? How did you know about that? I perceived it. During the incredibly long ass time I've spent sitting on this throne, I've gotten a lot of warpish shenanigans revealed to me, especially the shit that the gods of chaos have been doing. You'd never know how disgustingly often they post about shit like that on Facebook. So in disguise, the Arunama King hit me in the face and took my collector's edition Magnus soul. He's such a fucking bully, am I right? He hit your face? What a jerk! He's always getting in your way, is Facebook! Indeed. I even think he bruised one of my many cheeks. I'm most certain that's all part of that big old stupid plan of yours. Am I correct? Just a matter of waiting for things to fall into place. I'm right. Are you horny? Oh, bother. Not this horrid wench again. Nurgle, dear, could you Thank throw you all silent. diseases you've ever cooked up at this irredeemable penetration addict? Oh my god. Give me your credit card and you my free cow show. Get down, fell, fifth bitch with it on! Oh, He's already made me into walking, bro. When I get out of the Rectonian, I'm gonna come back and fuck you all up. I swear to myself, I hate you all. <sighs> Kids these days. Ooh, that guy got some scary. Well, if that is the case, you must be aware of the festering edifice that your Imperium has become, right? So far, barely. The custodian over there has been informing me about the latest happenings in the material realm, especially about the Imperium. So far, I'm pretty fucking pissed. I know they! How would you not know about the remarkably horrible things that have been happening if you've been watching over the Imperium all this time like your oh-so-loyal lapdogs would have us believe? I don't know. Maybe I do know, but at the same time not. After 10,000 years of watching over the Imperium, my soul has split up to such a massive fucking degree that I'm not even sure what I know anymore. Parts of my mind are scattered all across the world, taking on their own separate existences, but yet being connected to one another. Individual accounts of knowledge and personality thrown all about like leaves in the wind. I'm but a fragment of the being that you knew 10 millennia ago, forever bound to this throne like an anchor preventing the remains of myself from forever disappearing into the immaterium. That's why the custodian has been of great aid in updating me about current events, because he knows a shitload of stuff for some reason. Well, why am I here? What do you intend of me? In due time, I will tell you. No, you're not pulling that one again. That idiotic reasoning was what led to the horse heresy to begin with. I'm just kidding, ho ho ho. Besides, you're not one to talk. That's also the same idiotic reasoning that turned 90% of your legion into a pile of dust. Like fucking father, like fucking son. But I had good reasons to hide my secrets from them. But I presume you know all about how that feels, don't you? I suppose you were right in that sense. Come to think of it, just witnessing how my first captain have reacted to my secrecy. This is all too ironic for my taste. So where is that first captain of yours now? Is he still alive? Honestly, I wanted to kill that fool after he casted the so-called 
Rick of Aramin that turned my marines into dust. But I got fucked over by Zinch again, telling me that it didn't want me to ruin his new toys. So instead I banished him. Hold the fuck up. Banished him? After doing that shit to your disciples? After he has shown countless times that his personal interests are more important to him than your orders? What else can I do? Really, it's not like I can just hold him in a cell. Yes, you can have, but that's not the fucking point. Have you ever considered the consequences of letting him go? What with being the first captain, and really big into stupid warpy shit, I'm sure he'll get his hands on an army of his own that he uses for evil, mischievous cartoon villain schemes. It's fine, honestly. Knowing that loser, he probably isn't doing shit right now. At last, I've finally done it. I finally found the Black Library. It has taken eons, and the murdering of countless Eldar. Eldar. But finally, all my hard work will pay I like off. his helmet. It's very spiky. All the secrets of the universe are mine. A flick of a page away. And I will finally understand. Why do they have the Egyptian little thingies on their heads? Gods, perhaps even become one of them. <laughs> oh, I can't lie anymore. This is getting me so excited I could use my dick as an AP1 weapon. <laughs> Hold your fire, rubrics. It would seem that the Laughing God of the pitiful fallen Eldar has come to try and stop me. Damn right I will. Oh, I know exactly what should be done at a time like this. Rubrics, laugh with me! <laughs> oh well, for being a Laughing God, you truly are laughable. Please, enlighten me. How do you plan to stop me? Do you have your card on you? What? Your library card. You can't stay within these walls unless you have one. Have it? Or not? Oh, oh, of course, of course, I have one. One second, huh? Let me see here. I don't know what's in here. No. Hang on a minute. I'm sure I put it in here in my rose or... Did I put it out of my pauldron? No. I swear I planned for everything. It must be here somewhere. If you don't have it, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave, sir. Alright, it seems like I've lost it, but look. I can just pay for a subscription. We don't take subscriptions directly anymore. You have to subscribe on a web website. Subscribe on a web website? Oh, okay, I mean, I guess I can do that. While I'm here, do you have a spare terminal like it? Wait a minute. You're just fucking with me now, aren't you? I'm the one who's supposed to be doing the fucking with here. <laughs> I'll teach you a fucking lesson. Open file rubrics. No, 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 no. Whatever he is doing, he will fail. That is the fate he will suffer on his journey. Certainly sounds like every brick balancing fucking teenage riddled chaos fanboy trying to start his own edgy war band in his garage. Nevertheless, you have not answered me yet. What is my purpose here? Shut your what is your purpose here? And I will tell you. I have brought you here as I intend to reshape the Imperium from top to bottom once more. I intend to bring back all my sons, and I intend to reclaim the galaxy for the human species. I intend to heal all wounds and have no shrouds cover up the mistakes of the past and the mistakes of the future. All shall be at peace in mankind, and you shall help me, Magnus. You are the first one to be found once more. That is, well, dare I say, an admirable cause. So long as it doesn't serve on a platform of lies, well... 
as much reluctance as I feel while saying this, I shall aid you in this cause. For now. Most excellent. Now, let the bonding procedure begin. Magnus, I have a present for you. A present? Yes, a present. Bring it in. First bike, my son. Wow, I, I never heard one before. He has a bike now. I was always inside reading my books, but every time Jagatai rode his, I always thought he looked really cool. Now it is your turn to look cool, Magnus. Take a ride around the Imperial Palace. Okay, thanks, Father. Don't forget to wear a helmet. Of course not, Father. to the Salamander's Primarch Vulcan. Oh, Vulcan? That's kind of random, but, um... I'm pretty sure after dying a shitload of times, he decided to suddenly disappear. It is said that amongst the Salamanders that he hid nine different artifacts across the galaxy before vanishing. When Salamanders find all of these items once again, Vulcan will make his return. Last I heard, they've recovered five of those nine artifacts so far. For being such an uncomfortably friendly person, he can sure pull some complete assery of scenes. All right, we'll do it like this. Send a message to the Alpha Marines and tell them to find the remaining artifacts and plant them near the Salamanders. What? Are you sure, my lord? I mean, the Salamanders have dedicated their lives to finding these artifacts, and they are a bitch to find. Moreover, in the event that the Ultramarines do find Vulcan's artifacts, the Salamanders will be outraged by it. It would probably lead to a huge loss of morale and unleash some majorly repressed anger. It might even motivate both the Chapter Master and Ford Farm to turn against the Imperium. Are you really sure that's the right thing to do? Just tell the Ultramarines to do it with our utmost stealth so they aren't noticed. Besides, better make use of those fucking smirks since they want to prove themselves. My reason says fuck no. Get rid of that blue blob that will not be pammy fecal matter. But my intuition says send them to do shit and stuff will go forward. I will go with the latter, because I have like prophetic powers and stuff. Very well, my lord. I'll have the scribes ready in those events. Woo! Look at me now, That's my boy. Just wait until you get to meet my centurion. I am happy! Why are the children here? <laughs> you ran over children! Oh my. 
master has summoned you for what he calls an important event. He left a message for you, my lord. Oh, really? It's him? <laughs> well, fine then, maggot. Tell me, what did he say? Maybe if you were less of an egocentric dick, you would do it all to the face! I liked the clown. I like that he's bobbing his head. Okay. Magnus has a bike. Thank you all for my Christmas chat. Thank you for my all so always here. You make my day so very wonderful and happy. I remember. Book on might be always here, you. You'll never know. Blam!